The only only reason to use that shit would be to create narrat uh, narratives and to confuse people. Until they give like proper good data, I'm I, I couldn't care less about it. It doesn't tell you anything. That like, legit don't tell you anything. It can be. It's it's actually kind of crazy how different it can be in 10 games. Like, you can have it... This isn't exactly what it is, because I'd need to work it out. But you can have it where a killer draws nine games and wins one. Or the killer wins uh, six games and loses four. Or the killer... Uh, you know, all this shit. <laughs> nice. We need to watch out with the ace. Let's uh, concentrate here. Always good to give that a try every now and again. Because then you can get... Then you can get them uh, at a place that pretty much is uh, uncountable if the player right. Do I know what win rate I have? Very high. I do on most games, though. My individual win rate uh, doesn't equal something's uh, killer-sided or survivor-sided. But I have a very high win rate. Because I outplay my opponents massively heavily. Like, heavily. like, even the one we lost, we outplayed the fuck out of them. It's just that we went into an imbalanced match where you can't actually win without face camping from the very, very start. Which I don't feel like doing sometimes, you know? Like, ideally, I want to go for uh, as many chases as possible. As much pressure as possible. Oh. If the kill rate was 50% uh, would it be neutral for both parties? No. If the kill rate on average was 50% it means out of 100 games the killer draws every game. Riveting. While two survivors always win and two survivors always lose. So no. That wouldn't be balanced, either. Ideally, what they need to do is they need to kind of... Uh, well, they need to do win rates, not kill rates, for one. So we can actually see what's happening, right? Um, and then they need to make the win rates about hooks. <laughs> and then, yeah, then, then we're at a good place. But, you know, until then... Yeah, I guess we'll keep hearing people be confused about the uh, the devs' really bad data. Thinking it gives um, good data. Yeah. Just remember, for the killer to win, they need to have a 75% kill rate. Just understand that, okay? That's for the killer to win. And people are saying the killer getting 60% is oppressive. That's closer to drawing every game than winning. Not sure that's oppressive. Fifty percent win rate would mean they would get more than two kills half the time. Even like that, it's fucking confusing because like it's an average too, but at least it's better than kill rate. Kill rate's horrific. Kill rate is trying. I personally feel they give kill rates because they are trying to just confuse people uh, and paint narratives and make things sound bigger percentages than they are. Because I don't know why they're giving kill rates. Like, them getting the killer to a 50% kill rate might sound, oh, 50%. That must be balanced. 50-50. No. 50% kill rate would mean that the killer draws every game on average. Meanwhile, the, the, the survivors win with two of them and lose with two of them. There's no balance in that.
5% kill rate means a 6.25 uh, chance for a no kill, 25% chance for one kill, 35, 25, 6.5 for a four. Can you do it that way? <laughs> you know the drill tongue permateer three Myers. <laughs> you got it, man. Tongue. <laughs> he knew that were a tongue, what the hell? Too strong. Remember Coup de Gras. Uh, he messed that up. We don't want to waste our Coup de Gras, that's why I'm doing like uh, short hits. Kill Raid don't get her uh, taken account, so I've given up on Hawk. It doesn't, but it, it's just. It's a mess. Like. But you're right, a lot of survivors kill themselves on Hawk, so that will be implemented into the 60% six, kill rate. So. It's worse than 60%. It's probably like 55% or something. Maybe maybe something like that. Um, which is near enough to kill a draw in every game. Like these, these are not op like oppressive numbers. They're oppressive if you don't understand them. But they're not oppressive. I don't want to wear Scooter Girl. But, yeah, the devs don't give good data, guys. I think even they even said like they have to put like a kind of uh, disclaimer about it, where they said that you shouldn't look into this seriously. There's way more what goes into it. Blah 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 blah. blah. That's like their disclaimer saying, we are just creating this for shits and giggles. Please do not take it serious. But well, people do for some reason. But I think one of you are right. I think it is a narrative thing, isn't it? Like, they can paint that narrative that, oh, look, killer's getting 60% win rate, even though it says kill rate. Um, so, you know, killers are actually are more powerful because, look, 60% is higher than, than 40%, so 40% must be the survivor. Like, it's this weird confusion of not understanding the data they're reading and people agreeing with it. Look, 60% for killer, that means 40% for survivor, and that means that the killer wins 60% of the time and survivor wins 40. You know, like, what you want about? <laughs> you get what I mean? But genuinely, people will look at that and think it's right, probably. I'm guessing. <clears throat> now it's just letting knob wasted. Oh, god damn it. I think we make this, though. Maybe. Yeah. Pop. Do they give the average DC rate out of, out of many games? No, they haven't done that. And I think the, uh, if I remember correctly, the killer's kill rate was um, across all levels of play. It weren't just top MMR, was it? It was a 5% win, 6 win rate accounting for low and high. There's no win rate. If they hadn't told us the win rate. I know it's accounted for all levels of play as well. It's just completely, completely pointless uh, data. Completely pointless data. It, it, it blows my mind how people try and find something out of it. But I mean, people do tier lists on this game, which is completely pointless, so... I guess it's just, it's content in it. But it's completely pointless, guys. Like, genuinely, if scientists found data the way the devs do, we would be fucked. We would be absolutely fucked. They would not conclude anything. Bronze Age, yeah. Hello. 
<laughs> Kill rates is the individual chance of survivor to escape. It's interesting the angles you're getting from it. But they're all wrong. You don't really get anything from it. Let's see what you actually get from it. If there is anything. Let's see if we can get anything from it. And remember, like, th th this is just to give you perspective, and this is only two scenarios. To get a 60% kill rate, the killer can draw nine games out of ten and get one win, or they can lose um, four games and win six, I believe. Wait, no. No, it's even worse than that. Never mind. It's even worse than that because a win is three kills and four kills. And that adds another 25% on top even though you already won. So that's going to mess up. No, it's even worse than that. It's even worse than that. We, we, we did the... Um, we did the uh, the working outs of it before, but I can't remember. <clears throat> like, you could play 10 games, and if you win some of these games with a 4 kill, you can lose a lot more because your overall kill will be higher. Your win will be lower, but your kill will be higher. Um... <laughs> yeah, he is cool, Mick. I agree. Do you get me? Because a win is a free kill, right? So that's 75%. But if you win with a four kill, now you have 100%. So you've got 25% higher. So that means that on the next one, you can get one less hook, right? One less kill. And still have the same um, kill percentage, but a lower win rate. It's fucking bad, guys. You just need to kind of dissect it. You can legit have a higher kill percentage and a lower win rate. Like, it's really bad. If you can get your head around it. I'm trying to explain it as as basic as I can. Do you get where I'm coming from or no? Is it is it, like, just too, too fucking convoluted? <laughs> 